In this region, we will further see the important structure which is a, one of the muscle of the tongue which is the hyoglossus muscle. And this hyoglossus muscle is a key muscle in this region, the submandibular region. Because so many structure lies anterior and posterior to the hyoglossus muscle here. And it's a hyoglossus muscle I told you is related to the, the lateral surface of the gland. Hyoglossal muscle is I told you, this is a key muscle in this region. Just you draw the diagram. Here, this is a mandible and this is a genial tubercle. This is a root of the tooth. Here, and this is the uh, hyoid bone. This is the styloid process. Okay, now look here. What about this muscle here? This muscle arises. Hyoglossus muscle is a quadrangular shaped muscle, rhomboid in shape here. And this muscle arises from the whole of the greater corner of the hyoid bone here and part of the body of the hyoid bone. This is. The quadrangular shape muscle here. Okay. It arises from the uh, whole of the lateral cornu and the part of the body of the hyoid bone here. Ascends apart and insert over the lateral border of the uh, tongue here. Between the stylobulosus laterally and the inferior longitudinal muscle medially. Look here. Now, this is the standard process here, standard process here, give rise to the styloglossus and styloglossus runs here, like this. And merges with the, here the hyoglossus muscle here, on the lateral side here. Okay, here, and this is the tongue. Okay, here. So, Lateral here, that's so this hyoglossus muscle merges with the stylobrosa in the phase in the phase wise manner here. Few fiber merges here, okay here, and few fiber here the passes in the lateral stylobrosus muscle here, then again here the this fiber passes deep to this muscle here. So in this fashion the hyoglossus merges with the phase wise manner. Few fiber passes laterally, few fiber deep to the stylobrosus muscle here. Yeah. So this is the hyoglossus muscle now. This hyoglossus muscle a certain relations, okay. Uh, there is a certain relation the superficial plane and the deeper plane here, okay. Now, what are the superficial relations here? So, superficial relations are here. There is a one is the hypoglossal nerve here. This is the hypoglossal nerve which passes uh, through the lateral border of the hypoglossus muscle, then passes anterior superficial to the hyoglossus muscle here. So this is the here the hypoglossal nerve first here in the, so in the lower part and the lingual nerve here the lingual nerve passes in the in this region here in the upper part here okay upper part here and with the submandibular ganglia attached here okay the two nerve the hypoglossal the lower part and the lingual and the upper part of it here the, then the Come on the deep part of the gland here, the deep part of the submandibular gland. The deep part I told you here lies in this area here. So this is the deep part of the gland here. It lies on the superficial to the hyoglossus muscle here. Okay. And also the duct here. This is the duct. Okay. Here. The duct which comes on the here the end, uh, anterior part of the deep uh, part of the gland here. Anterior end of the deep part of the gland here. So this is the submandibular duct here. So the deep part of the submandibular gland and the uh, submandibular duct here. And the submandibular ganglia I told you here, submandibular ganglia and the lingual nerve and the deep part of the gland here. Okay. Then the styloglossus muscle here. I told you the styloglossus muscle here passes into superficial here. Okay. Few fiber passes deep and few fiber pass superficial. So this is a styloglossus muscle also. And then the myelohyde muscle here. I told you this is the myelohyde muscle. Uh, yes. 
is the myelohyde muscle here. Yeah. Which comes from the superficial, which passes in relation to the superficial. So this is the myelohyde muscle. Okay, here. So this myelohyde muscle also comes in relation. So there are the structures. So if, if we revise the structure, so these are the first, this is the hyoglossus muscle, the superficial play surface and the superficial process inferior related to the hypoglossal nerve okay along with the two veiny committentes yes here the two veins passes in relation to the hypoglossal nerve here okay yeah so two passes along with this here then the, in the upper part the lingual nerve here runs along with the here the submandibular ganglia here then the here the deep part of the gland submandibular gland along with the duct here Okay, this is the submandibular duct here. Then the here the myelohyde muscle also passes superficial, come relation to superficial plane here. Then the last is the styloglossus muscle here, which runs here, it comes the superficial relation to this uh, hyoglossus muscle here. So, so these are the certain structure which related to the superficial plane. What about the deep plane here? The deep relation of the muscle here. What about the look here? If you go deeper part here, okay. So deeper part here, first there is a inferior longitudinal muscle here uh, of the tongue. This is the inferior longitudinal muscle of the tongue which passes medial to this hyoglossus muscle here. Then the genioglossus here, the genioglossus here, this is the genioglossus which arises from the genial tubercle. Here it is a fan shaped muscle here, like this. The lower fiber passes towards the hyoid bone here. Middle fiber passes towards the here, yeah, the uh, tongue, anterior end of the tongue, and, and, the, and the upper fiber passes to the tip of the tongue here. Okay, here. Yeah. So, this is the genioglossus muscle here, and this genioglossus muscle passes deep to the hyoglossus muscle here. So, this is one important muscle which comes in relation to the hyoglossus muscle here. Then, the constrictor, the middle constrictor muscle, this is the middle constrictor muscle comes from the uh, lateral corner of the hyoid bone, tip of the ear. This muscle is uh, passes the fan wise ear, fashion ear. So, this muscle also comes on the posterior to the this hyoglossus muscle here. Okay, so this is the middle constrictor muscle of the uh, pharynx. Then the glossopharyngeal nerve here, this glossopharyngeal nerve here uh, comes behind the styloglossus here and runs towards the pharynx here and supply the stylopharyngeus muscle here which come here the stylopharyngeus muscle arises from the styloid process here the tip of the styloid process passes towards the upper border of the middle constrictor and enter into the wall of the pharynx here so this is stylopharyngeus and this stylopharyngeus supplied by the glossopharyngeal nerve and this glossopharyngeal nerve here when it passes here it gives us to the branch to the stylopharyngeus and the remaining nerve passes deep to the here the hyoglossus muscle here and then supply the posterior one third of the tongue here which carry the sensory fiber from the posterior one third of the tongue so this is the stylopharyngeal nerve here then the stylohyoid ligament here stylohyoid ligament starts from the styloid process here which is towards the hyoid bone here okay here a stylohyoid ligament which passes deep to this muscle, the hyoglossus muscle here. Then the very important is the lingual artery here. Lingual artery it is come from the external carotid artery just opposite to the tip of the greater corner here. And this artery when passes it makes a loop. It makes a loop here. And this loop when this is the first part and the second part passes here deep to this hyoglossus muscle here this is the second part of the artery and the third part of the artery runs along the anterior border of this hyoglossus muscle which is just towards the tongue here so this is so posteriorly here and behind the lingual artery related to the hyoglossus muscle here okay so these are the structure so if we revise here the first is the inferior longitudinal muscle of the tongue which is come medial side or deeper to the hyoglossus muscle here then the styloglossus here, few fiber I told you, passes superficially, few fiber passes deep to the ear. Glossus muscle here, 
the genuinosus muscle arises from the genuine tubercle here okay here fiber passes downward posteriorly in the upward here and passes deep to the here the hyoglossus muscle then the middle constrictor muscle of the larynx here this is the middle constrictor of the larynx here then the glossopharyngeal nerve this is the glossopharyngeal nerve here then the stylohyoid ligament this is the stylohyoid ligament passes deep to this hyoglossus muscle then the lingual artery here the lingual artery passes the second part passes deep to the hyoglossus muscle so this is the structure and if you see if you see here the three structure many the three structure which are the here the glossopharyngeal nerve the stylohyoid ligament and the lingual artery this three structure passes it come in the posterior border of this muscle here because this three structure passes through the posterior border of the muscle and passes deep to this muscle so this is structure three the glossopharyngeal nerve the stylohyoid ligament the lingual artery come relation to the posterior border of the hyoglossus muscle here so this is hyoglossus muscle and this hyoglossus muscle is supplied by the hypoglossal nerve because all the muscles of the tongue are supplied by the hypoglossal nerve except the one muscle that is the palatoglossus so in fashion this hypoglossal uh, nerve supplies the hyoglossus muscle if you see the action of the hyoglossus muscle hyoglossus muscle when it contract here it makes the tongue convex here because the both side of the muscle when contract here so the lateral border of the tongue descends downward so border of the tongue descends downward so makes a convexity on the superior surface here So it makes it uh, a superior superior surface of the tongue makes a convex due to the contraction of the both side of the hyoglossus muscle. So I think this is all about the important muscle, the hyoglossus muscle.